I'm learning that, you know, there's certain things about men that you just have to deal with. <laughs> and then I, I mean, you know, <laughs> they are like, <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> I don't want to say, <laughs> um, it's very confusing. <laughs> the older I get, the more confused I am. Do you find uh, time to live your life? To live your 20, you are 20. I'm 20, years old. I'm 20 now. I'm about to 21 in four months. Um, Really, I've, I've lived my life touring and working, still having fun because I love Kelly and Michelle and we have fun and we try to, that's very important. That's why I'm in a group because when you're in a group, it's beautiful. When, when you're tired or when, you know, every city seems like the same city and you're in a hotel and you're lonely and bored and you go to, their hotel room and you have, you go find something to do. If it's just working out or watching TV or ordering a movie or, or going, you know, get your favorite food and us just talking and, you know, watching TV or whatever. So I, I've lived in my life. It's not been a normal life. Uh, well, it's been a normal life to me, but to people that go to school and, you know, get jobs and all that. I have a job, but it's a different kind of job. Okay, anyway. Um, sometimes I wish I had, well, all the time, I wish I had more time to live and not work because it's a beautiful thing and it's a curse um, to, to do so much. It's great, but it's lonely and it, it, sometimes you want just time. If I had like two months out of the year, not even two months, if I, yeah, two months, I guess I could deserve two months, two months out of the year that I didn't do anything. Not together, just time off period. If it's just a week here, a week there, then I'll be okay. And I'm trying to do more of that, but unfortunately, when you're doing movies and L'Oreal and touring and albums and producing and all that, it's very hard to live. <laughs> yeah. And you were born in Houston? Yes, Texas? yes. What is a Texan girl? A Texan girl. It's not a Texan girl. I mean, you are a Texan girl. I'm a Texan girl, but everybody's so different. It's hard to say what a Texan girl is. I think the, I think, um, well, it's very hot in Texas, and I like the heat because that's where I grew up. The food is very good. Big portions. I like to eat. Um, I guess Texan girls like it hot, and they like to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and. Um, Got the little southern twang and the southern heart, the southern hospitality, and um, yeah, that's and the southern do you, girl. Do you go back there often? Yeah, I live there. My house is there. My, I still live with my parents, actually, there. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been there in a long time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to get a good crowd because being a celebrity, people want you to be this person. And even if you're not this person, sometimes they make you this person. They uh, cut cut up stuff and edit it, and or rework, write, reword certain things to make make you this person, this star, this diva, this. And I, that's not who I am. Sometimes I think people think that because they read certain things and they believe rumors and they don't know you, and that hurts because it's it, that's not how you are and that you have no control over that, and that, that makes me cry. Sometimes I read certain things, and it's not even that what they're saying, it's just the fact that it's millions of people that are reading and believing, and there's nothing you can do about it, and you want people, you don't want people to feel that they know you when they don't, and it's sad. Um, being away from home, sometimes you get homesick or just tired, and you're just so tired that you just want to cry. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when I go to church, actually every time I go to church I cry because it's, it brings you back and it lets you know how blessed you are and you're, I'm healthy, I'm, I've accomplished a lot and yeah I work hard and I don't get as much time off as I need but I'm alive. 
So sometimes you think about that. Sometimes I think about how much I love my mom and dad and I cry. Cause it's unbelievable. Like you can't, it's, it's unbelievable. And so you believe in God? Oh yeah. Yeah. Does it help you in, in, uh, in your work? In yes. Yeah, it, um, it, it helps totally. That's what brings me back. I mean, you, you work so hard, you work, 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 work. You get tired, you get frustrated, and then you go to church, and then it brings you back, and then you can start over. I mean, or you pray every day, and then it makes you feel blessed, and you know that God is with you, and you have nothing to complain about. So that's what keeps me sane. And if you meet God in the street, hmm. what, uh, what would you uh, say to him? That's a very good question. Um, I would just thank him. I wouldn't really ask him a question. I'd just thank him for everything. To, to get where you are now, you must have done a lot of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, and what is your worst memory? My worst memory? Yeah. Ooh, that's deep. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of memories, good, bad. Um, I don't know which one is worse, but um, I really don't like to think about them. You know, it's over it, I'm over it, and moved on. I, ca I can't tell you which one is my worst. I think I think the worst thing probably was um, during the time when when we got new members and I was being criticized. And people were blaming it on me. And I would have to read all this crazy stuff. And I didn't want to get out of the bed. And I was depressed and I didn't eat. And I stayed in my room for like a month. That was really bad. Every time I think about it, it's just sad. But I'm happy I went through it because I wouldn't have written Survivor. I wouldn't have, you know, I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't know about friendship and loyalty. And I wouldn't know half of what I know. So it, all the struggles make you wiser and I don't regret regret any of the bad memories because, you know, in the end it turns into good memories.
everybody enjoy the show, all right? All right. Come. Destiny Child, you in the house. We'll break these people up. Fashion is so fun and it's, you can be so creative and um, it's kind of like playing dress up. But I, I love figuring out what new thing you're gonna do. Like, it's great because we've done so many different things with our hair and with the clothes and the vibe. And it's just like a kid in a candy store when you are there and it's all these racks full of clothes. Sometimes, though, it gets frustrating because my mom is a stylist and I grew up trying on clothes. And when the other girls weren't there, then I would have to try on the clothes. So I really, really hate trying on clothes. Like, I can see them and be like, oh, that's hot, that's hot. But I hate trying them on. Like, when I go to stores, I do not try on clothes. And that's bad because then most of the time they don't fit and then mm -hmm. I have these clothes. But that's the only thing. When you, it's cool, like a couple outfits, but after like three outfits, it's like, all right, man, that's enough. <laughs> What makes you crazy about two days now? Crazy in a good way or bad? Bad way. Okay. Oh, what makes me crazy about men? They're very confusing. But you know, women are too. I'm learning that, you know, there's certain things about men that you just have to deal with. <laughs> and I, I mean, you know, <laughs> they are like, <laughs> um, it's, <laughs> I don't want to say, <laughs> um, it's very confusing. <laughs> the older I get, the more confused I am. I think they feel the same way about women, but I think men sometimes are very afraid to, to, um, fall in love with a woman, a woman because when you're in love, that person has a con this control over you, your emotions and they don't want to give someone that control because they want to be men. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't express themselves. But when they do, then it's wonderful. But just getting to that point. And um, I don't know. They're confusing. So are we. Yeah. You know, that's life. <laughs> and what does the man of your dreams look like? The man of my dreams doesn't look like anything. I don't have a specific look. Yeah. It's but more what only... it's more what are they like? Um I mean, I want to be attracted to the person. You know, I want to like how they look, but it's not a specific way that I like. Um, usually, I, every guy that I've talked to looks totally different from each other. It's not a certain thing that I like. And I'm attracted to the person, and then I, then I start noticing how good they look. <laughs> um, more just someone that, that I can learn from that is giving and nice and um, has a good heart and I can communicate with and have a good conversation with. and. I can learn from and um, be friends with, more importantly, and, you know, whatever, I guess that's mm -hmm. enough. According to you, what is the link between the original uh, rhythm and blues of the 60s mm -hmm. and the R&B of nowadays? It's all soul. It's all um, music that makes you want to dance, and it's all... Um, everyday situations, things that you feel and you sing about. And the music in the 60s and 70s had so much heart and so much soul 
that you couldn't help but dance to it and want to get up and move and it just made you feel whatever that person was singing and I think we've kind of lost that and um, the live instruments just bring so much that's why I'm bringing it in my music back because it's beautiful but I, it's hard because I, I have to find the medium between music now and the music then and kind of bring it together and make a new sound. I've done a couple of songs um, with the Neptunes and um, I plan on doing more with them. I, hopefully, I want to work with Raphael Sadiq. I love him. And it's so many people. Like, I love D'Angelo. I love um, Lauren Hill. I would love to work with her. Uh, Stevie Wonder, actually, I would like to write a song with him. And Kim Burrell, who's a gospel singer, I want to work with her. And um, so many people, yeah. <laughs> and uh, why do you split up now that everything is going so well for Destiny's Child? Well, obviously Destiny's Child's not split up. We're doing a tour together now. Um, Michelle's record is out right now, and she's still a member of Destiny's Child. I've done movies, I'm still a member of Destiny's Child. Kelly's done sitcom, she's still a member of Destiny's Child. Um, unfortunately, in this world, for some reason, people cannot uh, even fathom um, a female group doing individual projects and still being in a group. And men do it all the time. You have bands that go and do separate things and come back and they love their group and they have jam sessions and they go perform and go on tour and they still have their own individual stuff and the group stuff. We plan on doing the same thing. And actually, we are doing the same thing. Um, I've always loved the 70s. I love the music. I love the fashion. I love the hair, the clothes, the everything, the soul. Um, and I knew I was doing a solo project, but I was too scared to wear my hair in the afro and to go and do music like that for no reason because I thought that would scare people. Like, I, it was too big of a change. Then I get this call from Austin Powers saying that we want you to play Foxy Cleopatra, who is Foxy Brown, Cleopatra Jones mixed, and it's, she's like black spectation, sorry. Um, she was totally what I, I loved. And now after doing this film, I have a reason to do this music I love, and it makes sense, rather than just shocking people and them being scared. So um, the movie actually inspired a lot, but even before the movie, I loved that music and I wanted to do that music and then that just gave me the, the, exactly what I needed to do what I, I love. Yo, Paris friends! Destiny Shaw has a question for y'all tonight.
accomplished a lot at such a young age. Um, as far as writing and producing, I still want to write and produce, but I think I've accomplished what I wanted. I've written a couple of number one songs. The biggest song in 2000, I've won an ASCAP award, which is the only, I'm the second female in the world to ever win this. The only 20 year old, I think the first black um, woman. And that's, that's wonderful to me. So I've accomplished that. Um, as far as selling records, we've, we've done that. That's beautiful and it's great. I, the quality of everything that I do is my more is my concern now. Not everything that we've done has been great quality, but I just want to do what I want to do now. Mm -hmm. And um, one day, eventually, I want to be like a Barbara Streisand or a Celine Dion, or um, I want to still do movies and still do records like a Tina Turner. I want to be, you know, older, however old they are, and still be selling out tours and, you know. That's beautiful to me. But I want to live like on an island and get married and have kids in a couple of years too. <laughs> okay. How 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 is it to be like a sex symbol? I don't I don't think about it. It's certain things I can't see, like certain pictures I'm like, ew. Or certain <laughs> I, I don't um I don't really think about it. I don't that's weird for me. Because that's like, you know, that that's weird. <laughs> I don't even see, I don't even know how to answer the question. <laughs> I really wouldn't want to call myself any queen of anything because um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm the queen of anything yet. I'm working towards that. But it's flattering when people say that you are the queen of It is. Or... It is very flattering. But I don't think that's something you should label yourself. That's, that's something you have to earn and someone has to give you. Mm -hmm.